You cannot argue with the fact that RX by Isotop is the industry standard for background noise removal and audio cleanup. Version 10 just dropped and in this video I'll go over the new features and some things you need to be aware of if you want to upgrade. First let's go over what's new and exciting. The repair assistant got a huge overhaul and can basically be seen as a totally new plugin for all versions of RX10. Here is this audio. I'm now a product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, let's get into the, to the top five things that I've learned during my time here. I hope it's helpful. Okay, the first is to build your channel around an audience. And you can hear it has a lot of mouth clicks, noise and has a room sound. Now the repair system will save you a lot of time by offering an intelligent way to automatically give you an audio treatment. Select the type of audio you're working on, voice in this case, press learn, play the audio and then you get a cleaned up version. I'm now a product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, let's get into the, to the top five things that I've learned during my time here. I hope it's helpful. Okay. I'm now a product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, let's get into the, to the top five things that I've learned during my time here. I hope it's helpful. Okay. The first is to build your channel around an audience. And I'm now a product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, let's get into the... To now, if you want, you can adjust each of the modules. Product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, let's get into the, to the top five things that I've learned during my time here. I hope it's helpful. Okay. The first is to build your channel around an audience. And I'm now a product manager on YouTube's recommendation system. All that being said, the DHUM plugin and module got updated with an adaptive mode, which does the job just right in most cases. Find your niche, either make something better or different than what's already out there. Number three, watch lots of videos. If you were going to start a business, you would be doing market research. In the RX standalone audio editor, you now have the new navigation through text option. By clicking here, you enable this function and a transcription of the words in the clip will pop up. Depending on the length of the clip, it will take a while before the entire clip is done. You can now select these words to select a part of the audio and these handles will let you select more. It's a handy tool to navigate through an audio clip. At this point it supports English only and is biased towards American accents. It's intended for speech, not music and will work best with clear audio that doesn't have a lot of background noise. I expect other languages and accent supports to be supported over time. Spectral recovery in the advanced version has been upgraded quite a bit and is one powerful tool to make very limited sounding audio sound better. Fonts, colors and styles best represent your brand. Fonts, colors and styles best represent your brand and then make sure that that flows through your channel icon, flows through your channel icon, your channel art. Uh, fonts, colors and styles best represent your brand. Selection feathering is something I have been using in spectral layers for years now and is finally also available in RX. The feathering will, when you select a region, make the edges of that region fade. So the transgression from the unprocessed to the processed area can be smoothed now in time and frequencies. Very handy and it makes for a much, much smoother change from unprocessed to processed. What RX does now better than spectral layers is that this feathering can be changed after you have selected the area you want to work on. In spectral layers you can only do this before which I always have found to be clumsy. Now the most exciting feature for me was the mentioning that the awesome Dialog Isolate module is now available as a plugin as well. Dialog Isolate performs equally well as the Waves Clarity plugin to remove noise from voice recordings. Now that excitement got damped quite a bit when it became clear that right at this moment the Dialog Isolate plugin will only work in the audio suite of Pro Tools. So offline processing only. Now Pro Tools is used a lot in the broadcast world for audio post processing so there will be a lot of happy users out there but for a knucklehead like me who basically uses vst3 or audio units like in logic we're out of luck right now on my pre-release version of rx10 or windows i'm missing a monitor option which is there on the other plugins probably a bug now the ambience match and the russell are only available as aax audio suite plugins as well 
and I really hope these will also come as AU and VST3 versions. In this latest version there's no VST2 support for the plugins anymore. So if you still use the VST2 plugins of RX in a DAW for whatever reason, this is not the package to go for. The spectral editor can open in an altered version as audio unit error in logic only. Now you need to open logic in Rosetta mode because error isn't supported natively on Apple M1 yet. Not the fault of Isotope though. Having a spectral editor in your DAW is so nice to have. I do that all the time in Cubase with spectral layers as an error extension. So RX10 will give you some handy new features. Especially when you start out the RX10 elements version will be awesome with the repair assistant tool. For the ones who work in broadcast the new text navigation options will save you a lot of time with finding the right parts of audio clips. Now the dialog isolate module is one of the best out there. Learn how it compares to plugins of other brands in the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description below. 